Hello everyone, welcome to Bargolino Italia. Okay guys, I will tell you the history of Bardolino, Italia. So Bardolino is a village in the province of Verona, Italy. It is located on the eastern shore of Lake Garda, which is also known as Riviera degli Olivi, and goes from Peshira del Garda to Malsesini, the northernmost municipality of Beneto Shore. Bardolino includes the hamlets of Calmazino and Sisano together with numerous districts and it is located within the extended Garda Moreno Valley. It is about 30 kilometers far from Verona and it borders with La Sisi to the south and with Garda to the north. Like the other villages on the Lake Garda, Bard Bardolino has a mild climate due to the lake and the close mountains such as the Grupo del Baldo mountain range located on the northern part of the Verona shore. In the past, Bardolino was a small town populated by fishermen. Today, it is one of the most tourist center of Lake Lagarda. So as you can see, it's very beautiful guys. It is also stands out because of the wonderful surrounding landscape and with its variety of colors. The clear blue of the lake the green of the hill with their olive trees so later you will see the olive trees and vineyard and the red of its sunset it is particularly popular on summer but visitor and tourists are also coming on autumn to enjoy its beautiful shape and romantic atmosphere a fully equipped center with a variety of different accommodations like hotels residence bed and breakfast some site expanded across 2,400 square meters on the lake shore. So in Bardolino, numerous uh, tourism meet, a, meet an excellent food and beverages tradition. The numerous catering and business uh, take advantage of local food and wines. Bardolino wine with all the its version, only your extra virginia de Olivia and lake fish. So, dito pala galing yung ano, extra virgin de Olivia. The high quality is guaranteed by the strict control of the protection consortia. Traditional recipes can be tasted by visiting the restaurants, agritourism, but also pizza restaurants. Of course, uh, Italia is very famous when it comes to pizza and uh, pasta and ice cream shops. Bordolino is lively village full of the nice central shops, pubs where visitors can be have cocktails with a, with a view on the lake, bars, and discotheques open till night. The village holds numerous events all year round such as the Festa del Uva and del Vino Bordolino. So yeah, and there are some events during uh, October also. Bordolino is easily connected with numerous destinations through efficient means of transport, different kind of boat allowed to reach the other destination of the lake, while buses connect to the village with Verona, amusement parks, and other destinations, and of course, the other surroundings. Yeah, sport enthusiastic can join a lot of exciting activities. So there's also a good church uh, near the shoreline. So yeah, the young church. Uh, village but it's very beautiful there are lots of tourists here and as you can see the uh, architecture uh, of the town is also telling of the numerous eras of Italian history Look, so Bardolino has been traced back to the prehistoric period with evidential remains of steel houses common of the time so Roman remains such as coins boundary stones and burial ob objects has been excavated Distinguish this imperial age in the area. So when you 
say still, so it still means a column of wood or steel or concrete that is driven into the ground to provide support for a structure. So they use it to, to ano, para mas maging matibay yung ground. So one of the two stout poles with foot rest in the middle used for walking high above the ground. So it is still. Okay, yung prehistory and ancient times. So finding the, uh, of remains of stilt houses settlements beside the Lake Garda and the hamlet of Sano Shore. But the first villages date back to the Bronze Age. of piles within the lake so nowadays there is no evidence or evident trace of their existence but the new museum shows importance finds such as utensils and crockery so nakita nila so uh, it's already in the museum so those findings allowed scholars to reconstruct the style or the lifestyle of the old inhabitants of the age from hunting to the plants they consume a very interesting discovery was the finding of the traces of grape seeds belonging to the Deltis silver trees that testifies the pres uh, presence of wine since ancient times. Uh -huh. So as you can see the, the of course the architectural designs is like this. And um, we've also been finding dating back to the ancient Rome on small gray stones, sculptures, and cemetery remains. The use of the wine too dates back to the ancient Rome, the findings of farming settlement and the remains found in numerous areas of the region testify to some of these remains were related to the use of wine in religious rites. So, yeah. However, the first written sources testifying to the presence of the wine in Bartolino during the early Middle Age, together with the representation of Bunches and 